So I've been asked a question, are all IVF labs the same? Really, more broadly, are all IVF programs the same? And the answer is definitely no. And in fact, there are no two IVF labs that are the same. So when you visit different IVF clinics, um, you encounter nurses, you encounter doctors. Um, you really don't typically encounter the lab. Most patients aren't allowed in the lab, and if they were in the lab, which they shouldn't be because it's a sterile controlled area, they really wouldn't know what to look for in terms of evaluating the quality of the lab. But that is the difference maker between clinics. In reality, we all use the same fertility drug. It's called FSH. Um, so the drugs aren't different at a certain clinic. No clinic has a secret drug or a special proprietary way of stimulating you. The retrieval of eggs, or so-called egg retrieval, is a fairly simple procedure that most clinics do not only well, but very much the same. Um, and embryo transfers are pretty straightforward for the most part, and I'm sure most clinics are very competent to do those well. So if the drugs are the same, the retrieval is the same, the transfer is the same, what does that leave? It leaves the five to six days the eggs are outside the body. And that, as they say, can be everything. If the eggs get stressed so they don't fertilize, or they fertilize but they don't divide into uh, high-quality blastocysts, or because they're stressed they end up being chromosomally abnormal, then you don't have a viable embryo to transfer. You may have an embryo transferred, but it doesn't implant, and of course the cycle fails. Conversely, if the lab produces a super high-quality embryo and the doctor does just an average transfer, you're going to be successful. So the lab really determines how good your embryos are and the quality of your embryos in, terms, in, in turn determines pregnancy rates. So we could talk for, for hours about the lab, but certainly the training of the embryologist, um, their equipment, what kind of incubators, how many incubators they have, the air handling system to filter the air and extract volatile organic compounds and other toxins that actually can get into the air and from the air into the culture media and once in the media directly affect the embryo, that's a critical variable. And then quality control is huge. Every six weeks, we're getting new lot of culture media that has 34 components in it. These all can be embryo toxic, so we have to t t test each lot of culture media with bovine or mouse embryos to be sure it doesn't impair embryo development. Protein, oil, pipette tips, petri dishes, the list goes on and on of contact supplies that come in contact with an embryo. And from lot to lot, these can all be embryo toxic. So having a program that quality controls or tests each new lot of all these different components before they're used with human embryos is crucial to maintaining consistently high quality uh, in the lab and give your embryos the best care. So you can see the lab is very different depending on which clinic you uh, attend. And it's the quality of that lab, it's the proficiency of that lab that will have a lot to do with your ultimate success.